Good morning, Green Life the Day family. I'm glad to be with you here again. I have been reading uh, this book by Tama Keeves, A Year Without Fear. Uh, I had mentioned it before, and there's just so many good things um, that are in this book that I just really, really want to share. So let me hurry up and get started here. Um, and this all has to do about um, transition, right? How we transition in our lives and what's going on. Because it could be an intimidating, scary process. And sometimes I think we get stuck on the ledge and we just don't want to go any further, right? So here's a passage and it says, if you're in transition, honor this sacred passage in your life. Sure, you feel nervous or frightened. You are learning. You have left behind easy competency. And now you brave the unsettling immensity of expansion. You're a small plant in a bigger pot. You feel small because you're growing past your smallness. Isn't that just wonderful? And I think about that because I have a plant that someone gave me and it was like this little bitty stem and now it's growing all over the place. And I, and I know I'm going to have to repot it. And that's how our life is, right? If we keep growing. We're going to outgrow our pots. And when we get into that new pot, it's unsettling because it's so huge. But it's just waiting for us to expand. And here's another one. How much is being realistic costing you? What if realism is just a broken scale, a flawed measure of what you can be in this lifetime? I've discovered the concrete power of passion and creativity, and it's paid my bills, rocked my world, and opened me to a sweeter reality than I dreamed possible. Realism almost cost me the reality I now live. That is so true. Who or what defines your your realism, your reality? Is your reality based on something outside of you? Oh, so. And I and I like creating. And I like being an artist. And I often wondered what would life be be like if that was how I supported myself. And I'll just share you one more if I can find it. Um, these are all doing with transitions and here's one that I'm still trying to kind of wrap my mind around and it says today lower your expectations of yourself this won't lower your standards it will help you thrive when you feel safe you'll grow take the pressure off otherwise there's a guillotine hanging over your head instead of a crown sitting upon it. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. To lower my expectations, because we put so much pressure on ourselves, doesn't mean that I'm lowering my standards. It may allow me a creative way to achieve my standards. It may help to clarify my standards. But you can't know that or see that when there's so much pressure on yourself. Well, I hope one of those three little passages have stuck a chord in your heart and you play it all day long. Anyway, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.